Well, hello. I am Russ. And if you are interested in finding out about when the government will send you out your next stimulus check or what is in any stimulus packages that are coming up, this is the perfect channel for you to find out from. And if you wish to find out more info, get more information about this, please hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on and I'll pump your ears full of all information that comes my way that's meant for you guys. That's very important to me. And to start off our, our broadcast today, let's just put it this way. Uh, if you guys remember a while ago, our wonderful president, Donald Trump, said that he was going to put a ban on the social media app TikTok as of today, September 15th. Well, it is September 15th already. I actually have this TikTok app, and it still seems real fine to me. So I don't know what's going on with, it, with the President Trump's ban on that one. And let's see here. The Republicans have a new compromise stimulus package for $1.5 trillion. And it has a second stimulus check in it. So that's a good thing. So we can actually get a second stimulus check out to the people. Nancy Pelosi said that the House of Representatives won't go on their next vacation until both the Senate and the House agree on the next stimulus package. And basically, she's saying is if the, as long as the Republicans and the Democrats can agree on the next stimulus package, then she's not going. She won't go on her vacation if that doesn't happen. There is a uh, growing pressure on Nancy Pelosi from 117 Democrats in the House of Representatives to pass a second stimulus package with enhanced unemployment as well as a second stimulus check. And this is all coming from her own party. The House of Representatives will be receiving what is their new stimulus package later today. They're basically revealing it. But I already got information for that for you as well, so I'll tell you what's inside that if you stick if you stay with me. Okay. The bill is coming from the group of the 50 Republicans and Democrats known as the Problem Solvers Caucus. And it costs $1.5 trillion. This package would include a second one-time payment of $1,200 as a stimulus check to the people and the extension of the federal unemployment benefits, rental and mortgage assistance, money for schools, more money for self-employed and small businesses through a second round of PPP money. And more money for food assistance programs, money for uh, the post office, and money for state and local governments. And money to fight against COVID-19. So basically we got a lot of stuff covered in this one. Okay, it is expected that the same income requirements from the CARES Act for the stimulus check will be applied to this stimulus check in this new revised bill from the Problem Solvers Caucus. And as far as unemployment is expected to, there's certain terms on this. Basically, you're going to be getting $450 a week for eight weeks. And then after that, $600 a week. And the benefits would basically max out of what your wage you make what you made before the whole pandemic started. So basically if you made 600 bucks a month and you basically after after 8 weeks of 450 you'll be getting 600 bucks additional from the state and local assistance to max out for your total earned income before the pandemic. And let's see here. And interesting news came across my ears today that you guys might find sort of interesting. Apparently there's a peaceful protest on Nancy Pelosi's driveway as a single protester decided to defecate on her property as a sign of respect to her. I guess you want to call it that. <laughs> I think that's so funny, but you know, you guys might find it funny, I'm not sure. The Republicans are offering a compromise on the state and local assistance because... If you really remember in the, the skinny bill that they offered, there was no state or local assistance. Well, in this new uh, Problem Solvers Caucus stimulus package, there's a total of $500 billion for state and local assistance. And let's see here. There's $25 billion for rental assistance, rental and mortgage assistance, sorry. 
This will help out for evictions. And basically, if COVID-19 worsens, worsens than it already has, there will be an additional $500 million added to this package to help compensate for the information on that one actually really wasn't given to me. It, I just know there's going to be, if if our COVID-19 situation worsens, it worsens in which, which case it's supposed to, by the end of this year, in February, in, this, in fall and winter, COVID-19 is supposed to get a lot worse because of the cold temperatures. But like I said, they, if, if that happens, they're going to throw an extra $500 billion automatically into the stimulus package that's already out there to take in their current package of $1.5 trillion dollars to a total max of $2 trillion. Dollars. And to reiterate, there are there are basically a lot of many uh, politicians that are realizing that politics are being played higher than, are being considered more than the American people are, and they're sort of fed up with it. They basically want to put the same as pa- the people first, politi- politics second. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we can hope it does. And to reiterate on this, this uh, Problem Solvers Caucus Stimulus Package does not have a name just quite yet. But it does have, like I said, it does have another $1,200 stimulus check in it. It has more enhanced unemployment. It has state and local assistance. It does have money for the post office. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much it has for the post office. And it does have money for the self-employed and small businesses in the form of PPP money. So the Problem Solvers Caucus is trying to help out. There is one thing they are forgetting in this thing. The people that actually were the backbone of America, well, everyone else was staying safe inside the house, and that'd be called the essential workers. The essential workers have received nothing this whole time, and we've, we have been putting our lives on the line as well as the, the lives of our family on the line to keep America running while the rest of people can stay safe and not have to worry about getting COVID. But hopefully they'll resolve this issue in a new stimulus, a new bipartisan stimulus package. We don't know yet on on that one, but I know that this bipartisan stimulus package at one point five trillion dollars they're trying to pass before the elections in forty two days. So basically, wish us luck on that one, right? Because President Trump and Biden are running head to head, and to understand. Biden has a marginal lead over Trump. And if you've been paying attention to anything about politics and Trump, he has broken so many different COVID-19 regulations, especially the one we had in Nevada in the warehouse where he had to rally there and no one was wearing masks and there was no social distancing and it was going against Nevada's regulations because there's more than 50 people in that warehouse at that given time. And that basically, I think actually basically just covers the whole stimulus package idea. So let's hope that this $1.5 trillion stimulus package actually hops in front of the, the House of Representatives and they're like, sweet, we're going for it. They pass it. And then hopefully after that, it goes in front of the Senate and the Senate passes it. So the president can sign off on it so the Americans can at least get a little bit more help than they had before. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video from yesterday, especially the beginning of it, where I used the, scro- the, the scrolling up of the words that could, you did from Star Trek. Because basically what it is, is why I did that, is because this whole thing with the people and the government is like, sorry, is like Star Wars. If you think about it, right? The government is the Republic. The people are the rebels. The Republic threw us a bone and expected us to survive off a bone. And now the people are getting upset, and they want to uh, they want to overthrow the government. From a lot of the protests I have seen, this is what they want to do. But let's just hope that everything goes smoothly with the next stimulus package. Hopefully, they will actually reconsider it and actually put something in there for all the essential workers that have put their lives on the line to keep America running. But we'll find out later on in life if anything happens because. Let's put it this way. If they decide if something like this happens again and they want me to be an essential worker and they're just gonna they're not gonna even acknowledge the fact that 
me as well as hundreds of thousands of other people actually put our lives on the line and the lives of our families on the line for them to America run, I don't think it's going to work that well. Because why should we care about them if they don't care about us? Because isn't it all for one and one for all instead of one for himself and that's about it because that's how the government's running right now because they only care about themselves. But this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September yep, September 15th, 2020. I had a check, sorry. So until then, you guys have a magnificent Tuesday. Be safe out there. Try to get some food in your stomachs and let's pray that they pass the stimulus package so that people can get money in their pockets and food in their stomachs. As well as get that rental and mortgage assistance so they don't get evicted from their homes because that is very important. We do not need homeless people that actually have, we don't need people becoming homeless because of this pandemic. At least not more than we already have. In fact, we need to take care of those ones as well because that's very important. So until then, you guys have a magnificent Tuesday and an excellent night. Like I said, I am Russ, and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow on any new information that comes my way.